So, the single arm swing. Once you have mastered the two-handed swing, you can progress on to the single arm variation. Now, every other variable stays the same. So, position of the kettlebell on the downward phase, extension of the hip, abs and glutes really tight, so everything is locked in, and the downward phase once more. So every other variable stays the same. The coaching point that I want to reference here is the use of the free hand. It's really important that we actually mimic the position and the free hand is quite active. So as the hips go into flexion and I'm in this phase, my arm reaches back and then as the hips extend, my arms follow. That's a very, very important coaching cue because when we move in to the clean and the snatch, this hand position is going to help us to create that inertia to actually get the bell moving during that starting phase of those movements. So again, I start with the kettlebell in this hiked position. Now the hand placement is a matter of preference. If it's just for the swing as a standalone movement, we can go with the kettlebell running in this position and the hand here. When we move on to practicing the single arm swing for the clean and snatch, then we're going to switch the hand into a position so that the insertion is a lot smoother. And again, you can watch our video on the insertion drills. So from here, I hike the kettlebell an inch off the ground, my hips are preloaded, abs are nice and tight, and I start my swing. From the side, and that is the single arm kettlebell swing.